This is The Extra Point, an Arizona's Family Originals podcast, sponsored by your Phoenix Suns. The WNBA is experiencing unprecedented attention this season with one of the most heralded rookie classes in history. One of those rookies is Cameron Brink from the LA Sparks who played her first game in Phoenix last Sunday. Brink has been open about making sure her mental health is in order to withstand the test of making the jump to the pros. We talk about how the veterans have received her, her first year in the WNBA, and the importance of getting a good night's sleep here on the Extra Point Podcast. Gosh, it's definitely a journey, but a wonderful one at that. And I'm just so thankful for every step. Um, you know, I was just in college not a long time ago, so it's an adjustment, but I'm just very happy to be a part of all of this. It's amazing. What did you learn from Sunday's game, specifically playing against Tarazi? <laughs> um, I learned, you know, I've played against her once before, an exhibition game. Um, I've learned how, like, kind she is to me. I think she really kind of gives me like words of encouragement, even though we're, she's shoving on me and we're competing, but um, she's an amazing shooter, um, amazing leader for her team and, you know, a role model for me for sure. So just happy um, for the opportunity to compete against her. And how do you see your game growing game to game? Um, Just learning literally everything each game, every game I learned something new and um, just trying to, you know, just battle adversity, be resilient. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm getting better every game for sure. The uh, the Caitlin Clark uh, video that of course went viral this weekend. So wondering, are you receiving any any of that rookie treatment as well? You mentioned Diana being kind to you, but uh, have you have you had any welcome to the WNBA moments like that? Um, we've we've all had a, a welcome to the W moment for sure. So you just keep playing through it. It's it's basketball. It's not just because we're rookies. We we all we all push on each other and stuff happens. Is, is this, I mean, it's bringing a lot of eyeballs to the game, and we, we've seen the explosive growth with you and Caitlin and Angel uh, coming to the league this year. Uh, how, how do you feel about just the the extra attention, but maybe it, it, the, the look of it isn't what everybody wants here? Um, I think, you know, you can perceive anything the way you want to perceive it. For me, I choose to just take everything as a positive um and you know everything's been great so far I think people have been positive with me and if anything's negative I just drown it out um I know that the rookie class we, we all have each other's backs and you know while we're competing with each other you know it's all love at the end of the day so um it's just a really amazing league not just the rookies but the veterans too and it's just a really um amazing place to, to go to work every day competition's not pretty is it I mean it is what you think it is yeah I think it's pretty but that's just because I'm a basketball player but you know, competition's competition. It's, you know, nobody's going to take it easy on anybody. You've been very vocal about uh, mental health, why it's important to you. So how do you keep uh, in, a, in a positive frame of mind, learning the new league, the, uh, I guess, the ups and downs of it and, and keeping your mental right? Yeah, I think for me, um, I've gotten, you know, to a really good place with a routine around just building self-care and making sure my mental is in a good spot. And so um, a lot of that has to do with sleep. And so, Honestly, it's like the perfect partnership with Mattress Firm. I'm a, the founder or a part of the founding team of, of Team Sleep Well. And so it's basically just about um, giving athletes, the, you know, the right opportunity to find a mattress, you know, sleep solutions that work for them. So working with sleep experts to really prioritize our rest and recovery. So with Mattress Firm, I got fitted with the perfect mattress for me. And I'm 6'4", so I have a California King now, which is absolutely amazing. So I get the best sleep every single night and, you know, I just feel like I'm really optimizing my, you know, performance for, for every game coming up. What, what's the optimal hours of sleep that you need to get every night? For me, it's eight to nine hours a night. Um, and, you know, luckily as pros, we have the time to, you know, sleep that much. Our schedules, you know, we build around just like making sure our bodies are in, you know, the optimal performance space. So eight to nine hours. And I also nap before games. So that's why I just, I really think it's a great time, you know, and um, opportunity for me to work with mattress firm because sleep is something, you know, I do every day, every day, we all do every day. So it's, it's really, I'm really lucky feeling very fortunate. Uh, when it comes to just this, uh, th this whole summer for you, I mean, you played an entire college season and now you've got the WNBA and potentially a trip to Paris here. <laughs> How do you prepare the body? I mean, have you ever played, have you ever gone this hard for this long playing basketball? 
No, I haven't, but I feel like, um, you know, I'm just lucky enough to be surrounded by great trainers and, and coaches and, and staff that, you know, keep me in one piece. And it's definitely a process and it's hard, but um, you, you just keep pushing and, you, you know, I love it. So that's what makes it all worth it. And, you know, I know I'm very lucky to, to be in this position to play the sport I love for a living. Uh, w how would you kind of uh, quantify, how would you kind of characterize just the state of women's basketball right now? and where you would like to see it go during your career? Um, yeah, the state of women's basketball now, it's its amazing, and people are really invested, and that's because, um, you know, not just the rookies, but the veterans have worked really hard to, to put it in this position, and, you know, we're really thankful for the media as well for, you know, amplifying our, our voices. Um, but as far as where I want to see it go, I, I don't even know if I, I'm qualified to answer that question. I feel like it's beyond my um, – my limits I feel like it could go anywhere and you know hopefully it just kind of grows to a place that we all don't see coming so it's very exciting all right and, and who were the who were the people you grew up watching and, and have you had any of those moments where you, you're playing against them now I know you've you've played quite a bit but is there any is there been any kind of like moment you've had to you know take a step back here as a pro um I don't think there's been a moment I've had to take a step back but I've definitely had a lot of moments of, of gratitude and um you know just you know sheer kind of um, awe of the, the, the women I play against. Um, so, you know, Tina Charles is amazing, Angel Wilson. Um, you know, I'm coming up, you know, playing against Brianna Stewart, Sabrina Nescu. There's just so many amazing women that, you know, I can't even speak to because there's just so many. So it's just, it's a really cool experience. The Extra Point Podcast is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.